Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Deezers app to import products easily into your Shopify store so that we can go ahead and sell them later. So go ahead to the app store, type in Deezers, and this is the app you want to download. And after that, what you're going to do is go into your Google Chrome and you're going to type in the Deezers extension. And then you also want to download this too. If you're on a Mac, you're going to have to figure it out because I use a PC. Now that we downloaded the Deezers app, the extension, all you have to do literally super easy just go into aliexpress go to any single product that you want to import into your shopify store and then you're going to see an add to deezers button once you click that it's going to import into your app once you import the product from aliexpress into your deezers app you're going to go to your import list on deezers and then you're going to see all the products that you've imported here and what this edit products button does you click on it and you could edit all your product details from here your title description, collections, tags, type, but you're not limited to only able to edit it here. You're able to go into your Shopify store and edit them later on too. But what I like to do is kind of declutter all the variants I'm not going to take and only pick the ones I'm gonna. I don't personally write the description here. I do this in my Shopify. For the images, I'll pick which ones I want to import here just because it's a lot easier. And then the shipping info, I'll just leave blank because it doesn't really matter. Once you edit everything, you also have the option to split the product in case you wanna split this into multiple different colors or multiple different sizes, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So after you do all that and you're happy with your product and you wanna import it into your Shopify store now, all you have to do is push it to Shopify by clicking this button, and then you could go into Shopify and you could further edit the variants, the product description, title, tags, type, whatever else in Shopify, and it's very easy to do. Yeah, so that was a very basic overview of actually editing all the product details within Deezers, but I actually previously made an Oberlo video, which is the same exact principle, the same exact thing. So I'm gonna play that for you guys right now. It's already been recorded and you can just take the knowledge from that and carry it over to Deezers because Oberlo was originally what Deezers is right now. So it's the same exact thing. It just has a different layout, but take all the principles that I'm gonna teach you right now and apply it to Deezers the same exact way. What I like to do on Oberlo is I like to name the product. I like to choose the collections and then I like to also add in the product type I don't do the tags here because it's easier on Shopify. And then what I also like to do is edit the pricing here because you could just change all of it. And let's say we want to put it at $70. And then you're going to see all of this is the compare at price and that's $70. And this is the actual price. If we don't want to put it on sale, we would put this on $70. But if we want to put it on sale, we would put it at $30 and you get $40 off. So the description I don't do here. What I do is I highlight all of it, delete it. And then I don't really worry about the photos too much because I'm gonna show you in a later video how to scrape product photos off the internet and off AliExpress. So you can choose the products here, but it doesn't really matter. But let's say for example, we wanna only do this picture right now and nothing else. Um, you could do that. And then these are the variants that come with the product. And if you don't want to use all of these variants, what you can do is you can turn them off or you could do it in a bulk action. If you want to split the product in a bulk action, what I would do is I would click on actions, click split product, and then you can split by colors or sizes. But I kind of noticed that it usually gets messed up when I do it that way. So what I like to do is split it manually up here. And then basically, let's say we just want avocado green, black, coral red, in gray blue in one product and we don't want any of the other colors we would just highlight these make sure the right variants are checked and this looks good because we got avocado green which is here we got black we got coral red we got gray blue and then we're just going to split the product and you're going to see how it makes a whole separate product out of that and you can see this is the new product and it kept all these details the only thing that's different is we have 16 variants and all the rest aren't in our product. And then once you're done with that, you're just gonna import it to your store. As an action item for this lesson, I want you to import only one product for right now that you're gonna be selling on Shopify. And I hope you guys like this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.